books, dragons, mutated demon creatures, mid-90s clothing styles. This game has everything. Comic Zone is a 2D side-scroller developed and published by Sega back in 1995. After three years of wearing down my Streets of Rage 2 cartridge, I moved on to Comic Zone, a beat-em-up with an art style I had never seen before. Instead of just moving through an environment, you work your way through panels and pages of a glorious comic book. You play a sketch, an artist, rocker, and owner of a glorious ponytail, who's been tossed into a comic book world by his own creation. The animations were products of Greg Stitt, who worked on Kid Chameleon, Spyro, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Ratchet and Clank. The overall art style is just spectacular. When you smash an enemy into the edge of a comic border, sometimes it'll rip the page and push them into the next panel. Enemies appear on screen by being drawn on by an overlaid hand and go from a sketch to a colorful and dangerous threat. The enemies toss up long and short range attacks and continually keep you guessing as to what is the best defense. Throughout the game, you break open containers to discover power-ups and health that are stored in your small inventory. Health is few and far between, and this game is tough, so you have to be smart about how you attack creatures and when you use certain items. I'm always too fearful of my little rat partner dying, so I tend to keep him at my side and rarely sick him on anyone unless I need a switch hit or I'm really in major trouble. Yep, I love this game. I loved it in 95 and I still love it now. It's quirky, beautiful, and the word and thought bubbles are always appearing, giving me constant visual stimulation. The style continues to blow me away and the game mechanics are simple, making it something anyone can pick up and play. This game isn't as tough as Altered Beast, but it's still one difficult title to get through. Continues are practically non-existent and everything injures you, even when you punch barrels. What's up with that? The Xbox Live Arcade port is perfect, and the button setup is still as intuitive as it was before. Comic Zone is $5 and totally worth it. It's tough and unlike in other Xbox Live Arcade ports, the only way to circumvent death is to save frequently and often, a luxury I was not given in the Genesis days. Overall, the game takes around an hour or two to beat, but each level has multiple routes to take. Even if you crush through this game, you probably didn't see everything, which offers some tiny amount of replayability. <laughs> Sega did a great job with this classic side-scrolling take on being trapped in a comic book. AHA would be proud. Well done, Turner. Oh yeah.